Next, uh, you know, weeks go by, maybe months go by. And uh, my trainer, I don't think she was actually my trainer anymore. I was actually kind of, I was, I was what was called operational, which means you completed your training. You were now using, they were using you on real Intel targets. Mm -hmm. But occasionally uh, a target would be pulled and that person would go over and put the target on the podium and, uh, and then sit there, but say nothing, but they, you always had to have, you either had to have a target tasking sheet or you had to have a folder and they didn't want to give a remote viewer the folder because a remote viewer might look through it, you know, and come back with a really fantastic session. So there was always a way that, you know, what you were doing was kind of buffered from the viewer themselves. Uh, that target might have been pulled, brought into Fern, who would type up a target tasking sheet, say your coordinates are, and, you know, give those, give those to you. You'd carry that over there. And you just put that on the table my and look at it. My coordinates are, you'd fill out your heading, coordinate, ideogram, and there you go. The, the next one I did that was of significance to me was um, the caverns, the, uh, the lava tubes. I was describing these massive circular uh, openings with, uh, with, with frozen stalactites. And and stalagmites that were like crystals, and uh, I there's a I sketched this huge structure that was in a giant cavern, you know, a, a massive like a like a city, like a civilization, but of an unusual kind of architecture. Uh, and I I sketched life forms that were present there, you know, in scale to that this stuff to give it some scale. This was stage six sketching. And my target feedback was Olympus Mons. <clears throat> and Olympus you, said Mons the, the, you said you observed life forms there? Well, yes, but that doesn't mean they're there. That means if what if the structures I am if the structures I'm perceiving were created by a life form, then uh, my ability to, in the event arc of time, right, uh, to to sort of pick up aspects of that would have been possible. Uh, or I could have just seen, you know, what I had sketched in terms of the building and how I had perceived it. And maybe I perceived it with life forms and I, or I thought I should, you know, put them there for scale. I, I, you don't know as a remote viewer right. exactly why it's there, but uh, your assumption, of course, is that and it's an AOL, you know, a massive city, underground, life forms present. That's your AOL. And you declare that because you don't want the, that to drive the rest of the session. If you don't declare it and you accept it as something uh, or you don't declare it and truly let it go and you get back into the session, the next thing that happens is you're, is that again or a piece of that or some version of that. So you have to be really careful in dancing with the structure about how you're developing the data uh, and following the structure so that you don't allow AOL to drive the session, any piece of AOL, one piece. <clears throat> there is, so in doing all of that and going on with it and my, because as a visual perceiver, primarily, I was sketching, you know, the aesthetic the aesthetic data, the aesthetic dimension of this thing and putting, you know, a, a habitation place that was centered in this, that was massive. It was like a, like a, like a small town maybe. Right. And I, when I say small town, I mean like, like a small town, like uh, Albuquerque, you know, something like that. Right. Not that big. But it, there was a lot of structure that was present there that I tried to capture it with my best in stage six. <clears throat> the, the feedback was this was Olympus Mons, which is the largest volcano in the solar on, system, right? <clears throat> on, on Mars. And the whole, in years later, when talking about these lava tubes, because I don't even know that there was in the 80s that there was an understanding of lava tubes there. So it was just kind of passed off in the feedback of 
your descriptions of colors, your descriptions of these kinds of things uh, was was interesting. And oh, by the way, uh, it coincided or, you know, uh, it was the same similar data developed by other viewers who have done this target in the past, which uh, you could be given that folder. And you would now look at all the other Mars sessions that somebody had done on that target. And your file, your results, your session, your summary would be added to that folder. And it was called a historical folder. So what are they looking for? Because they can't give you, they can't give you feedback, right? They can't right. give you what it is. They don't know. So they just use the, the, the correlating data that multiple viewers over periods of time develop relevant to that particular target. Okay, so now. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like, subscribe, and notification buttons. Additionally, if you have any feedback, please put something in the comments below. And lastly, if you wanna watch the full episode of this clip, you can find it above. Thanks again for watching.